What's going on is the one hodls, man. It is Sunday morning. You guys don't want it bad enough. You guys don't want to stack the most scarce hard asset that's in existence or whatever coin that you prefer to uh, try to gain some wealth. You don't want it bad enough because I'm up Sunday morning just leaving the office, just leaving work, okay? Um, <laughs> it's not a game, man. So uh, if you're stacking sats and you're doing it like me, um, which is the smallest unit of Bitcoin, do it responsibly. Uh, you want to do it with a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized exchange such as HODL HODL. Um, that exchange only requires a username or actually an email address and a password and you're able to trade Bitcoin without KYC. And this is the way to go to be free. Also, you want to think of a cold card wallet, like a cold storage wallet where you could put your Bitcoin into self-custody. And uh, the hard wallet to me is the probably the most safest means of um, custodying your Bitcoin. So, and there's one that's Bitcoin only open source. That is um, the cold card wallet. And so that's in the coinkite.com store as well. So I'm, I'm just driving through the city right now. It is a cold one today, man. So um, very cold. So today the weather just shifted. But what I want to tell you is that um, in this cryptocurrency market, uh, while prices are suppressed and depressed, and the market begins to slowly forget about crypto, and they want to, or Bitcoin specifically, the crypto asset, and they begin to focus on other things, and they begin their their attention span begins to shorten on it. And uh, it just doesn't look appealing, right? There is no price, especially when there is no volatility. There is no moves up. At least if there's a move down, it, it gets people's attention. They'll hear about it. But when it's just like this and, you know, people are not paying attention. And then so you look at the fundamentals and you see that fundamentals is what is most exciting right now. When you just look at all the elements that are coming together like a perfect storm for uh, institutional um, adoption, right? With their own investment vehicles, such as spot ETFs waiting to be approved. You got all types of infrastructure, exchanges being being built. You have um, the case, the use case for Bitcoin strengthening, only strengthening in a world with global economic chaos. Central banks around the world are screwing up and disrupting their whole entire countries. Uh, inflation persists. Interest rates still getting held up, squeezing people um, with, or squeezing nations with uh, huge debt loads that are that'll make it less likely to be uh, repaid. And so this makes the fiat or makes those uh, those assets that fiat is attached to more worthless seeing that these um, nothing can be paid back with high interest rates and massive debt so this is the perfect storm all the way around um, in my opinion for Bitcoin uh, the sovereign man's money so I want you to think like this and this is how I think is that every time you stack sats, small as you know, Bitcoin. Anytime you smash by whatever you, you know, it, it, I'm talking about a few hundred to 600 to a thousand dollars, you smash by at a time. That's bringing you one step closer to sovereignty, self sovereignty. That's bringing you one step closer. That's bringing you. That's that's taking you one step further away from fiat slavery, from dealing with people you don't want to deal with, from living your life on someone else's terms. This is free man's money, and it acts as a store of value as well. This is a, this is an asset class of his own. So you hear a lot of people say. Well, you guys say, Bitcoiners say Bitcoin is money, but now you're saying it's a store of value. Which one is it? Well, so 
I think it's disingenuous because then they'll at the same time in the same breath acknowledge that cryptocurrency is just a whole new asset class that can't be put into a box like a IE shitcoin XRP and all this so that you know they'll say oh it's not a security when clearly it acts and it is security for a company called Ripple but anyways I digress but you you know when it comes to Bitcoin it's legitimately a store of value finite scarce supply and it is a monetary network with the capability of instant payments on its second layer, the Lightning Network. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna keep this short. I just wanted to share this with you. The more you stack, the more you get closer to a life of um, self-sovereignty because that's what the network is. It's a self-sovereign network. It's a self-sustaining network. It is a living, almost organism, like a fungus, right? It just lives, and it continues to uh, feed on what it feeds on. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. It is Sunday morning. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. I hope you're acting responsibly during these times where the people are turning their back on on this new asset class and um, and on the entire market because they don't understand what it is yet and they probably never will until they're completely completely i mean i'm talking about exceedingly priced out till next time